I'm Dr. Gaya. I'm a maternal fetal medicine specialist working at Fernandez Hospitals. In this episode of Fernandez Answers Questions, I'll be answering some frequently asked questions about prenatal infection in pregnancy. Prenatal infections refer to infections that can be transmitted to the baby from the mother during pregnancy or during labor or shortly after birth. Prenatal infections are of two categories. The first one is acquired during pregnancy that is Torch O which stands for toxoplasmosis, syphilis, rubella, cytomegalovirus and herpes simplex virus and O stands for other infections like chickenpox and Zika virus. These infections can be passed on to your baby through placenta while still in the womb. The second category are the ones like group B streptococcus, hepatitis, B virus and HIV which are acquired as the baby passes through the birth canal. Torcho infections are responsible for about 2 to 3% of all congenital disorders. These infections can cause a variety of complications including preterm birth, delayed development of the fetus, physical malformations and sometimes loss of the pregnancy. Infections that occur early in the pregnancy result in worse outcomes. Prompt medical treatment is needed to reduce the risk of complications. Infections like HIV and Hepatitis B can be transmitted to your babies and if infected, these diseases can persist a lifetime. A few may be treated with medication available, while others do not have any treatment other than rest and hydration. Pregnancy needs to be monitored with the help of maternal fetal medicine specialists. Depending on the condition, babies may need immediate medical attention or care in the NICU at birth. And also, immunization to prevent transmission of diseases like Hepatitis B in the immediate newborn period is needed. Regularly wash your hands with soap and water. This is especially important after using the washroom, preparing raw meat and vegetables and playing with children. Cook meat until they are well done. Do not consume unpasteurized or raw dairy products. Do not share your eating utensils, cups and food with other people. Reduce contact with saliva and urine from babies and young children as they may be carriers for certain viruses. Avoid changing cat litter and stay away from wild or pet rodents. Practice safe sex and get tested for sexually transmitted infections. And most importantly, make sure your vaccinations are up to date. If you need more information on prenatal infections and its prevention, please talk to your consultant.